Hello my lovely heartbeats and happy Monday. I hope you are having a wonderful Monday afternoon. So I have two beautiful babies here. Over to my left here is, I hope it's going to be left, I hope it doesn't reverse. So over to the left here is baby Patience. She's the Evangeline Sculpt and she was reborn by uh, master artist Abby Wenzel and over here is a little Tegan he is the Raphael sculpt and he was reborn by master artist in love with reborns Stephanie Ortiz so we are here today because we had a video request from ENR and she wanted to um, see a video with the honeybug pacifiers which I said were my favorite favorite now these aren't the honeybug pacifiers that these two are wearing right now I just wanted to show you a comparison the reason that the honeybug pacifier was my favorite is because it sits so flush onto the face now as you can see this pacifier um, and this is the pacifier that patients Wow this is the pacifier that patients came with um, and it's pretty bulky it's cute but it's pretty bulky and even that rim there is pretty bulky so if I'm far away it kinda seems like it's sitting flush mm. No, who am I kidding? No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. You can see that it is not sitting flush onto her face. It's kind of sitting away from her face. It has that gap there. And I don't care for that gap. But it's still cute, right? Now, here's another pacifier. Can you turn around, Tegan, so we can see this pacifier? So as you can see, this pacifier is really doing what it wants to do. But look at this huge gap that there is between it. I don't like that huge gap. So what I do like, I like the honey bug pacifiers because you do not get that large gap. Let me show you. Now, isn't that much better? Now watch this. I try to, I can't get my fingers there. I can't get them there because that's sitting so flush onto his face. You see that? Beautiful. Let's get that side angle view. Look how it is actually hugging his face. Do you see the difference in that? I absolutely love the way that fits him. Love it, love it, love it. And look at that. They match, they match, they match. So um, now let's see, baby girl. Baby girl, that one was just so bulky on you. Now look at there. Do you guys see the difference? Can you see the difference now? I mean, it is just, it adds a whole new level of realism to your dial. Just by having that pacifier sit flush on the face like that. So that's one of the reasons that I absolutely love, love, love the Honeybug pacifiers. Then there's another reason that I love them. They come in awesome, awesome colors gonna put some up here so you can see them so here's some of my honeybug pacifiers that I have I have this periwinkle blue this awesome gold then I have this white and the handle is this um, kind of like this clear pink you can almost see through that and this is a white on white and this one is a white with a green loop 
and then I have this one which is white with a green loop but it has a little wavy pattern on it and then um, patience is like an antique rose color so those are some of them I do have more but because when I bought my outfits from Albie Wenzel's booth she paired each outfit with a honeybug pacifier and this one um, she gave to each person that had taken her rooting class but what I really love about these honeybug pacifiers is you can actually this is the one that he is this the one that you had yeah so that's the one that he had right and so the round with the round you can pop these off oh wait now guys I got one hand here wait I'm not going to tell you how I got that off pop that off there's the magnet in the inside now watch this now the round has to go with the round. I wouldn't be able to use a round back with an an oblong back. You have to do round with round. So Now look what I did. I just took his straight periwinkle blue and I turned it into blue and white. And I didn't have to move my magnet easy peasy so freaking quick that'll save you so much time and then look over here she has that antique rose I'm doing all this with one hand, guys, so appreciate your patience. There. Oh! <laughs> you guys! Oh, my goodness. It's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Now, see there? So you get more bang for your book because you can interchange these and you can kind of create your own designs. So like these two handles, these two handles here, well, the both of the background is white, so that wouldn't do any good. But um, yeah, you could switch them. You can switch them if they had different... Um, a different print on it that you want it to switch with a different color you can as long as the oblong with the oblong and then the round with the round so yeah oh that one I took it out so hers doesn't have a magnet because I had to take it out with one hand so um, yeah I love these honey bug pacifiers and you can find these now I got mine at the Kansas City Dial Show um, from Albie Wenzel's booth, but you can find them at um, McPherson's um, Reborn Craft Store. Um, they have them on Amazon, and um, I seen an Etsy store that had them for sale, and also Dolls So Real had these Honeybug pacifiers for sale. So I hope this video was a little informative. I hope it helped you out and make your decision in whether or not you wanted to invest in honeybug pacifiers and even though this does look cute you know but look at the difference look at the difference so you be the judge and it's just a matter of preference and what you like so thanks for watching don't forget to hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and also the notification button so that you'll never miss a video. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!